Recently, I was uh, recording an episode with my son David for his a podcast, Enjoy the Book of Life. We were talking about the six cities of refuge, and he asked me if there were any stories in the Bible relative to a city of refuge. I only know of one. It's the story of Abner, who had not intentionally, but had killed the young brother of Joab, David's general. And David then was reigning in Hebron, which is one of the cities of refuge. And Abner, as he approached the city, he was only a step from safety when Joab, out of the shadow, whispered to him, I want to speak with you. And he stepped into the shadow, and at that moment, Joab killed him. And David lamented the death of Abner, and he said, Did Abner die as a fool dies? Your hands weren't bound, your feet weren't in fetters. You were only a step from safety. And the gospel preachers have got a, a lot of purchase out of that story. It's only a step to safety. Then why not take it now? Well, um, this story occurs over in Ireland. A friend of ours had taken a quantity of gospel CDs, the Uniqueness of Christianity CDs, down to the west of Ireland, where there's very little gospel work. And he had distributed most of them there. He was heading back home traveling through Dublin. He thought, there's no sense taking these home again. I'll just distribute the last of them here. Parked his car, and as he was walking around, he saw a man standing by a bridge. His face was ashen, and he went up to him and said, Sir, are you ill? And the man said to him, Well, actually, I'm thinking about killing myself. My marriage is in ruins. I don't have any hope. And so this brother said to him, Before you kill yourself, listen to this CD. And he offered him a CD. Well, the time went by, our brother went back to the north, and sometime later, maybe a year later, he was back down in Dublin preaching in the open air. And a man came up to him and said, do you remember me? He said, I, I'm not sure that I do. Well, he said, I was the man that you gave a CD to and said, before you kill yourself, listen to this. And he said, well, obviously you didn't kill yourself. No, he said, I listened to it and I understood the gospel, and I put my trust in Christ. And uh, he said, you know, I let my wife listen to it, but she still doesn't quite get it. I wonder, do you have anything else that I could give to her that she could listen to, and maybe uh, she could understand the gospel? And uh, this friend said, well, I, I have a DVD in the trunk of my car, and it's by the same speaker, and it's just a short message, 15 minutes long, and maybe this would help. And so he went and got this DVD. Well, I have been in the north of Ireland. Brother David Gooding was preaching at the Northfield tent, and they had asked me if I would just give a short 15-minute gospel message. And I spoke on this passage, Died Abner as a fool dieth, a one step from safety. And so he gave it to the man, and uh, the man took it home and told his wife, I met the man who gave me the CD that changed my whole life. And he said, uh, he gave me something else. I'd like you to watch it. And so the two went into their little living room and they watched the DVD. Well, the wife quietly went into the kitchen. She started to do some dishes. But as she stood at the sink, she prayed a prayer. She was a committed Roman Catholic at that time. And she was so unsure what was the true message. And so she prayed and said, God, if this is the true message, prove it to me. Well, she turned on the radio as she was doing her dishes. And uh, the Christians in the north of Ireland had a radio broadcast that they beamed into the south. And I don't know that they had ever had an encouraging response from that broadcast. But on that occasion, on came this message. And it was a brother preaching on the very verse, died Abner as a fool dies. And this dear woman at that moment realized, this is the true message of God. And I thought of the words of Psalm 62, verse 11, God has spoken once, twice I have heard this. The power belongs to God. What a glorious truth. 
You know, my dad used to say to me once in a while, now, son, I'm just going to tell you this once. If I was going to have to go and get a tool for him, he didn't want me coming back and saying it's not there because I looked in the wrong places. So he'd say, look, listen, I'm just going to tell you once. And God could have done the same. But in actual fact, he has told us hundreds of times through his word, in every possible way, through poetry, through narrative, through legal arguments, every possible way, so that we have no excuse. God wants us to know that the message of the gospel is indeed the true message of God.